details now in 38 Studios Inside the Scandal. A key player in the controversial deal has reached a settlement in the 38 Studios bankruptcy case. Michael Corso, a Providence lawyer and ally of former House Speaker Gordon Fox, has agreed to pay back $45,000 from the money he earned from the failing video game company. And Target 12 investigator Tim White's been covering 38 Studios from Hello. the very beginning. He joins us in studio. So Tim, first, just remind everybody who Michael Corso is in this whole thing. Well, as you pointed out, he's a Providence attorney and a friend to Gordon Fox. He's also what's called a tax broker. And he helped secure um, some, he was one of the players to help secure that now infamous $75 million taxpayer back loan for 38 Studios. Okay, now obviously this is a settlement, so right. how much was on the table initially? Well, the trustee who is handling the bankruptcy case, so he's representing 38 Studios or the embers of 38 Studios, uh, he wanted $232,000 uh, back for the money that Corsa received for legal work that, that he did, and, and the argument was that he, they should repay the money or Corso should repay the money because um, the company was collapsing at that time and uh, we should also point out that the documents we have been reviewing over the past couple of weeks from the lawsuit show that uh, Corso made upwards of seven uh, figures from that deal. So when he came out so well after this failed deal, why would the trustee agree to only have him pay 45000 Yeah, it's a, it's a big question. I'm sure a lot of people are asking that, and there are a few reasons for it. He says it's better to settle because the more that they drag this thing on, uh, the more it costs to recoup that money, and that cuts into the bottom line. But also, and this is interesting, it said in the court filing that um, it, it indicated that Corso's financial situation was pretty bad, and there were concerns that he might not be able to pay back the full 232000 thousand dollars. And have we heard from Corso after this? We haven't, but we uh, heard from his lawyer. His lawyer emailed me and he said that the 38 Studios situation was, and this is these are his words, a mm -hmm. horrific financial situation for not only the taxpayers but for Mike Corso. Uh, he says and he claims that Mike Corso um, is facing millions in liabilities from the 38 Studios deal. All right, Target 12 investigator Tim White, thank you so much.